What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and in today's video, I will be discussing with you about my YouTube channel. This is the third time that I've attempted or I'm attempting to make this particular video. But I believe that today, this is gonna be a keeper. So sit back, relax, because this is my trailer video. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, many of you know that my name is Alex. Uh, I started off here from uh, um, the app called TikTok. Many of you guys are on that app. Many of you guys post your videos and whatnot. Uh, I started way back in 2018, uh, if you believe that or not. Uh, and, and I started off, you know, kind of like everybody else and never imagined that I would get to this place and have all this stuff around me and the ring lights and the cameras and the microphones and all of this stuff that came later on. And I'm sure that many of you have probably been spending money to try and get a lot of this stuff so that you can post your videos and make the right kind of quality videos and so on and so forth. Yeah, I've been there and I know what it's like. And it's difficult because you don't know this kind of, you know, uh, way of making videos. I've had to learn throughout the years, but I'm finally starting to get the hang of it. Um, but apart from that, uh, I am a Christian creator. I do love talking about the Bible. I love talking about um, what the Lord Jesus Christ has done in my life personally. Um, and I also like to bring out many other stories that we hear, uh, many other things that are going on around the world. Um, for those of you that do know, I love to speak on end time events and how many of us know that that's exactly what we're seeing and we're experiencing around the world today so my channel is really based on world events that are leading up to the signs of the end times um, i also really like to talk about a lot of the false teachers and preachers that are out there and some people may say well what qualifies you to be an expert well i'll be honest with you I've, I've, I've gone to school, I've learned some theology, um, but there is no better way to learn about the Holy Spirit than experience. You can't really learn by reading or studying certain things. I will truly, I'm a true believer that the Spirit of God leads someone to do something that He wants them to do. Now, of course, Reading the scriptures and reading the word of God play a vital role to be able to know what the spirit of God is saying and how to discern certain things and how to test the spirit. Because if it's not in the word of God, then it's not God. But I also believe that in today's uh, world and, and this new era of believers in, in this, uh, you know, this community that we're in are not really depending on the spirit of God. And a lot of the stuff that is being spoken is a lot of hocus pocus stuff, just a lot of information. And I think that we have a lot of that everywhere we go. Am I right? I mean, you turn on the television, you flip your phone on and you scroll, you look through the internet. I mean, everywhere we go, there's just information, 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 information. And I believe that the enemy has planned it that way because as long as he continues to give us all of this information, it's going to bury the truth. And so the truth is what we need to know and discover for ourselves. And I believe that I'm in one of them places where I am truly seeking the word of truth and I am cautious and very careful as to what I listen to, what I practice, how I worship you know, what I'm doing uh, and things like that. And I believe that many of us should be able to come to a place like that. And many of the letters that we read from Paul, Peter, and many of the apostles, and even Jesus himself warned us in the last days that there will be many who will be deceived from the truth. 
Not only will they be deceived, but many will walk away from the faith. And this is exactly what we're witnessing today around the world. Many believers are not walking in faith. Many believers are not trusting God. Many believers are not depending on God. And so I like to bring this kind of message because there's awareness for everything. And everything there seems to be a topic about and people want to say, you know, FYI, just a you know, a little bit of, of a PSA for you and everything else. And so we get all this stuff from a lot of different influencers around the world. And we see it all over YouTube, TikTok, uh, Facebook, Instagram. I mean, you name it. It's everywhere. And so I truly believe that in this season and in, in this time of my life, that God has kept me to keep it simple, but yet truthful. And I know that there's a lot of people out there as well that may say, well, maybe you're truth is false and maybe you're not seeing it the way you need to be seeing it well i've been doing this for a very very long time and i've made a lot of mistakes believe me i've fallen on my face i've backslidden i've fallen short i've lived a lukewarm life i've gone back into my sin and come back several times and you know again i, I won't tell you the amount of years i've been doing this but I've probably been doing this a lot longer than many of you have been on this earth. I've been doing this for a long, long time. And I've been around the things of God, His Word, and the teachings of His Word. And, and, I, and I've been taught by some of the greatest men of God that I believe could have ever taught Scripture. And my time growing up, one of them that I will say is Pastor David Wilkerson. A lot of you may know who he is and many of you may not know who he is. I will encourage you. I'll link uh, a, a message or something down below so that you can go and check out some of his preachings. But let me tell you, he is someone that I truly, truly listen to all the time. And so my channel is pretty much dedicated to try and bring out the truth and get people to understand and get people to really see what is happening, how the devil is using his, his evil and deceptive ways to come and deceive many of God's people. And, and where is he working and how is he manipulating God's word? And, and what are, what are some of the things that we can do to present, prevent ourselves from falling into this kind of lifestyle? And so my, my YouTube channel is dedicated to try and help as many of you as possible. Um, I do truly depend on the Word of God and what the Word of God is saying and, and, and what, it's, what it's meaning to us today. Um, and of course, I always, always try to refer to what the Spirit is saying through His Word. And we can't deny that we are truly living in the last days and even the world is saying that we are. And so when you begin to see the wicked and the sinful begin to prophesy, you know that there is something happening in the supernatural. And I truly believe that God uses whatever he wants to use to warn his people. And all it takes is a person who's willing and who has open ears to hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Um, there are going to be times that I'll probably post a few things um, that are like outside the topic just to kind of give you guys uh, some information on how I'm doing, uh, maybe give you guys some tutorials or maybe some of the equipment that I use, um, what it's taken for me to get to where I am today, what are my goals, what are what am I trying to achieve? And I know a lot of you have asked many of those questions before, and I would love to be able to answer them and get to them and, and be able to show you. I know a lot of you would like to start a YouTube channel, and there's many of you who have, um, and you've asked, you know, what can I do? What programs can I use? What kind of camera? What kind of equipment? What kind of programs, editing programs? And so I want to be able to try and help as best I can. And um, I want to become all things to all men for many of you here today. But I truly want to keep this as spiritual as I possibly can because I don't want to deny God. I don't want to forsake him. I want to keep it as best uh, 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 biblical as I possibly can. And so anytime I do make a video that's outside from different topics, like, for example, you know, um, 
you know, like tutorials and things like that. Um, I, 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 you might find me still bringing some things out just to kind of talk to you about some things, but still be uh, allowing it to be educational for you and to be able to help you to learn and understand. I'm one of those kind of guys that truly learned, you know, by, by watching people do stuff. And, and it was really hard for me to learn, um, by text, you know, reading books and everything else and having, having to go and take tests and, and, and sitting there and listening to a, a lecture and everything else. It was very difficult for me to learn. And, and I, and I struggled, um, during school to try and get a lot of this stuff, you know, to sit and to, to, you know, to kind of fill inside me and then it cut to come out. I was one of those people that love to go to some of those classes where they show you how to put things together, how to make something, how to build something, because the moment I saw it, I was a visual learner. And so this is how I learn scripture is by watching people and how they live. Many people can preach to us about what the word of God is saying. And we never see their lifestyle. We never see how they live their lives and how they conduct their lives. And it's important that we keep our testimony. And the Bible even tells us that we shouldn't just be hearers of the word, but we should be doers of the word. It's not just going out and, and sharing a few scriptures here and there. It's about living it on a day-to-day -day basis. And I know that there's a lot of people out there who really like to give us all this information, but they don't live it themselves. And so it's very important that if we are going to be teaching scripture and we are going to be teaching the word of God, it has to be a lifestyle in us. Because if there's any time that you and I are going to be teaching the word of God in the 21st century, it's going to be when no one else is when you're not paying attention, it's going to be when, when, when you least expect it and people are going to be watching you. And it's during those times that you're going to see how a person conducts themselves. And yeah, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to do some things and we're going to fall short as the Bible says, but we got to pick ourselves up and we got to be the best example we could possibly be to reflect the kingdom of God. And so today I wanted to be able to bring this to you guys and let you guys know um, what you will be seeing through many of the videos that I bring. Um, you're probably going to see uh, a lot of videos that that bring out certain ministers today, and you know, and and I, and yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's it, it, they need to be held accountable. They can't just go and post videos and say what they say because they have the status that they have. They need to be held accountable over what they're saying. They can't just go and manipulate the word of God and twist it and think they can get away with it because they can't. God is serious about his word. And if there are going to be people that are going to be, be misleading his people, misusing his word, twisting it and manipulating it and lying to people, he is going to deal with that individual. And so us as watchmen, as apostles, pastors, evangelists, ministers, worshipers, I mean, you name it, we have to be those that keep each other accountable and, and keep the gospel as pure as it is. And so... I'm one of those kind of people, and I really believe that there's a lot of people out there that really want to keep it pure, and they really want to keep it holy, but the world is screaming out to us, telling us, oh, you don't have to be that holy, you don't have to be that righteous, you don't need to be that pure, you can have a little bit of game here and there. Well, let me tell you something, I'd rather be as holy as it can possibly be and go above and beyond and be safe about it than to risk the opportunity of me losing my salvation because someone said it was okay to live a particular kind of way. And again, you can make the choices yourself if you want, not me. And so if you want to hear something that you really need to hear and why certain things may not be working for you, why you could be going through what you're going through and what it is you feel that you might need to do and what things you might need to let go, 
this is probably going to be a really good channel for you to be a part of because this is where I'm going to keep it real. And it's not that all the time I'm going to pick on a lot of these guys. There are, are a lot of videos that I do post and I, I do share. I do share devotions. I share my heart. I share my testimony and I share uh, uh, what God has been doing in my own personal life, not only in my own personal life, but in the ministry that he's given me. And all of this started because I simply said yes. And I know that there is a desire out there for many of you to be able to have your own ministry, to be able to have your own office and 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 do what God has called you to do. And if you want that and you choose to want to prosper in those things, the only way it's going to happen and take place for a person like you and myself is that if we stay pure, holy, and righteous before God. And there is no greater feeling than to know that the hand of God, the favor of God is upon you. I pray that I get to see many of you and uh, see many of you guys come back. Um, again, if you guys want to find me on other different platforms, I am on a number of different platforms. There's a lot of them I kind of just got away from. It's just too much going on right now. I am on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram. All the links are going to be in the links down below. You can find me on Facebook. That's another platform that I have been really, really... Uh, pushing to try and get the gospel preached there. Uh, God has definitely opened doors for me there. Um, I know that there's been a lot of really great people that have been reaching out to me and ch they're trying to connect with me, which is great. Um, so you're going to start seeing a lot of great things happening uh, for the ministry there in Facebook. And of course, I'm also on TikTok. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with TikTok. I heard there's been some conversations about the U.S. taking it down. I don't live in the U.S. I'm actually in Australia. I don't know what's going to happen. But these are the places where you can find me. Um, and if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will check them out. I also have a website for those, for those of you guys that love, you know, those kind of t-shirts. This one's Galatians 5.16. Um, walk in the spirit so that you don't gratify the desires of the flesh. I got a lot of t-shirts out there for you guys. Go and check out my website. Um, and then also, I want to be able to just kind of throw this out there today. Vince, I hope you do get a chance to see this. I'm going to tag your business in here. Uh, he is a company. Here's a company that has sponsored me. He's my first sponsor. Praise Jesus. Uh, he sponsors many of the lights that you see behind me. Uh, of course, you can't see right now, but many of the lights that are in front of me, he has sponsored me. There are other lights right now that I don't have set up. Um, I'm looking at trying to move to see if I can uh, have a bigger place so that I can start to set up many of these things. And uh, he's going to be working with me and helping me to try to establish a better a better looking studio. Um, right now, it's looking great. Uh, I do want to thank many of you who have sponsored me, who have donated many of the equipment that I have. You know who you are. Um, I will put the links down below for Vincent's uh company it is called photogenic of course it's here in new south wales uh, uh in sydney so if you're in sydney and you're looking for some lights tripods so on and so forth um he's your man uh he's supposed to be giving me uh, a call and letting me know his new address he just moved into a different location but again guys i want to thank you guys so much for coming i pray that this has blessed you if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notifications button because it will let you know every single time i post a new video and please 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 smack that like button smack it just smack it just smack because every time you do it helps my channel to grow again guys god bless you and i will see you on the next video